Guys, they said Kwenami was surprised as Timmy Tokwe storms her church to have an important discussion with her, allegedly. According to the information, they said yesterday being Sunday that uh, Timmy Tokwe storms Akure in Kwenami's church. And they say when she came, the church service was going on and she waited when Kwenami was done with her church service and about to go home. That was when they said Timmy Tokwe went to her telling her that uh, she had been looking for an opportunity to speak with her, but she had been calling to let her know that uh, she's coming, but she was not picking. You know, that is good that at least she have seen her here. The second Naomi was like, what do you want? Why are you here? She said, uh, you know that lately a lot has been happening in that palace. Uh, a lot of things, especially spiritual matters, and uh, as someone who is uh, good in spiritual things, she was referring to Queen Naomi. She find it uh, very free to discuss certain things with her. You know that uh, sometime last week we heard that Temitokwe too have started seeing those things that uh, Igbi and Blue Blue was seeing. You know, but they say her own. She was screaming, saying it was a scorpion, scorpion, scorpion. So, I don't know, when she was telling Kwenami about the spiritual things, I don't know the particular spiritual things she was talking about, whether those things they, that, that they started seeing, of which we heard that the reason why they were seeing those things was because they are involved in one or two evil things in that palace. So, Kwenami was just waiting for her to start the, the main reason, to state the main reason why she came to her church. Uh, at the end of the day, she told Kwenami that you know that um, she loves uh, KBS so much, as in Temitokwe loves KBS so much, and they would do anything to support KBS. That uh, even though she might have fought for Kwenami's return before, that that was then, that right now she has made up her mind to support KBS to go any length uh, to bring back with Naomi and Tadeni Kao. So she have come to let Naomi know that she is now in support of uh, her return. Uh, but Naomi will need to pray for her. You know that she needed Naomi's prayers. Because with the way things are going right now, that the Spirit of God have ministered to her that they all need Naomi's forgiveness. Because in one way or the other, they, they, have, for, they have offended Naomi. So they all need Kwinami's forgiveness, you know. Uh, that is why she is she have come because she knows that as a child of God, you wouldn't want to disobey the Holy Spirit. That the Holy Spirit have directed her to you for prayers, knowing that uh, you are a good child of God, and heaven hears your prayer. That she is here for them to talk about the way forward, how you will return to the palace. Uh, how you pray for her to last in her own marriage too. How to, you know, the second Naomi was like, so I want to know the actual reason why you are here. She said that uh, she have come so that Naomi will pray for her. Uh, after praying for her, they can now discuss on how Naomi will return back to the palace. That she can even uh, join force with Naomi to uh, uh, tell Naomi about the plans of these other Oloris who are fighting her return in the palace, that she know that Bibi and uh, Igbi and Blue Blue can go extra mile to ensure that she did not return, that she is ready to fight against them, or by leaking their information to Queen Naomi, that she can just be pretending to be on their side, you know, why she get the information that she needed to deliver to Queen Naomi. So, yeah, the second Naomi was like, look at what you are doing to yourself. Why not tell yourself the truth? Whether you want my return or not, it is only the will of God that will happen. As for forgiveness, I bear no grudges against you. Whatever that is hurting you or that is happening in the palace, that is what you brought upon the palace and upon yourselves in the palace. So there is no how I am part of it. I am never going to be part of it. They said Konami told her that Luko, whatever be her mission, it cannot be fulfilled. Maybe she wants to come and uh, 
connive or you know join Quenami's head with that of Blue Blue and Digby, all in the name of giving Quenami information. They say Quenami told her that she doesn't need her information. She doesn't even need her validation. She doesn't even need her support. There is nothing she needs from her. That all she needed from her was or is for her to stop coming to her church or coming closer to her or coming closer to anything that has to do with her. And they said, uh, uh, she started telling Kwenami, no, no, it has not gotten to that. That one thing about her, she's a peace-loving person. Oh. She's a child of God. Oh. And that is why she is uh, ready to mingle with you, who is also a child of God. That is not as if she's not um, uh, as in. They said she, she don't even know what she was saying. Eh? Kwenami was surprised. And at some point, I said, now, wow. Now, wow, what is her mission? But we heard that recently her mother have come out to start uh, to tell KBC that she is joining force with a uh, blue blue and Igbi to fight Kwenomi. And uh, she have been saying it, telling her, warning her to leave Kwenomi alone. That if anything happens to uh, to her or because of this Kwenomi, that she's not going to forgive her. That she have warned her to stay away from Kwenomi and anything that has to do with Kwenomi and stay alive to uh, raise her children. That she doesn't want uh, anything to maybe with what they are planning to go back to her and maybe the thing will buy her, and she she the mother will be the one taking care of those children. That that is not what she wants to, and that is why she's opening her mouth, letting the public know that she is warning her to stay away from blow blow and Igby because those ones they are deceiving her. And I said to myself, oh, she is not a child. She knows what she wants, and I believe that. She have the same interest with Igbi and Blue Blue. That is why they are working together. And not, they are not deceiving her anything. So, but this idea of going to Queen Naomi's church, whatever be her mission, it is never going to be achieved. She will get this, she will be disappointed, just like always. You know, they say Queen Naomi have won her. And they say after Queen Naomi won her, that is how Queen Naomi left her there. And move away. She was just calling Kwenami, telling Kwenami that her, ah, so she can come all the way from uh, Ileife to come here and uh, you can't even pray for her, let alone listen to her, that it is unfair. This is not what children of God are known for. Children of God are known for forgiveness and uh, accommodating people. Who, yeah? Accommodate who? Ha. My dear, Kwenami does not need to accommodate you. And again, point of correction, this uh, Holy Spirit that is directing you, you better be careful. Anyway, guys, I don't know what to think about this. Don't forget that these are all alleged information, okay? Always bear that in mind. Give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and share my video. And don't forget to turn on the notification bell. Thanks for watching. Bye. I love you guys.